This is my phone and that's my iPad which is resting on my MacBook and today I'll review a slightly larger drawing tablet offered by XP Pen. This is the Artist24 Pro, the largest drawing monitor ever made by XP Pen. Let's see what's inside the box shall we? First and foremost, this is a monitor, not a computer in itself. So it requires a computer to run, without one it cannot. Whoa, this is a huge one, that's what she said. Just look at the substantial size gap will you? And did I tell you that it's heavy? Well it is. I bet you won't be moving it from one place to another. So better you get a bigger desk where the monitor can sit. Because the XP Pen Artist 24 Pro has its own shenanigans to pull off. And spoiler alert, you will be quite impressed by it. Let's see what's inside the box. Not this keyboard though, but the USB Type-C to Type-C cable for the newer laptops such as mine. Alternatively, you can use the USB Type-C to Type-A cable for the older computers, but you will also need a HDMI cable which is already included in the box. I recently had a Q&A session on my Instagram a few days ago about the XP Pen Artist Pro. More than a few people asked me about uh, what else would they need to buy along with the tablet. So basically you don't need anything unless you have a computer. Everything else will be packed inside the box. You also get a drawing glove, a microfiber cleaning cloth along with some paperwork. And last but not the least, the pen or should I say the pens. One comes inside the barrel with 8 more nibs on the other side of it, while the other one is a gift in case you lose the first one. How nice. Both the pens are identical with two shortcut buttons on them. And the best thing about these pens is that you don't need to charge them or put any batteries in them. They just work like magic. However, this barrel is for portability and the XP Pen Artist Pro is not exactly a portable machine, so it will stay inside the box. The XP Pen Artist 24 Pro also comes with a power adapter. Treat it like a computer monitor, not a drawing tablet in this context, because it needs to be independently connected to a power to run. No, it doesn't have any battery, nor it sucks power from the computer, which is a good thing if you ask me. And as it needs to connect to a computer to run, my choice of machine would be the M1 MacBook Air. All I do is that I keep it on a vertical stand and connect one end of the Type-C cable on my laptop while the other one goes into the monitor itself. And voila, you are good to go. Also, I was very curious to see whether the XP Pen Artist 24 Pro would charge my laptop with the Type-C cable as it's already drawing power from the wall. To my surprise, it can if you want to. It's slow, but eventually your battery level will only be increasing when you are using a laptop with this monitor. How convenient is that? Speaking of convenience, the cool thing about the Artist24 Pro is that it comes with a built-in USB hub. It does give your computer two more extra USB 3.1 Gen ports, which you could use to connect your keyboard, mouse, external hard drive, etc. And no other manufacturer is doing this at this point of time. And in this day and age when my MacBook Air comes with only two USB-C ports, it's just like a breath of fresh air when we see extra USB ports built in to the monitor itself. What's also convenient is the hinge or the stand that comes fitted to it. And this is by far the best thing I love about the XP Pen Artist 24 Pro. Though you may confuse it with a plastic one, but you would be wrong. It's metal and indeed a solid one. You can put it at any angle and it's going to stay that way, period. And when you are done with it, you just pull the tablet to the standstill and it's a monitor. With this huge footprint, many of you will be using it as a primary monitor when not drawing and the stand only complements it. And the way it does. I don't even remember when was the last time I used my laptop as a laptop. This tablet comes with 20 programmable buttons distributed on the either side of the screen. They are clicky, they work and you can program them your way. This tablet also houses the dial wheels on the either side of the display and you can toggle them between scroll, rotate, brush size and zoom. You can also distribute these actions among the two dial wheels and you can also disable them if you want. Like I switch between the brush and the zoom on the right hand side of the scroll wheel while I use the left one for rotation, canvas rotation. You will need to install the driver to use the full potential of the XP Pen Artist 24 Pro. The build quality of the XP Pen Artist 24 Pro is top notch, be it the quality of the hinge, the feel of the buttons as well as the scroll wheel which all show premiumness and so does the screen. This screen is huge, it's a 24 inch 2K display which means that despite of the mammoth of its size, it's crisp and very good to look at. The colors are accurate and it can also get very bright. 
This display is primarily catering to the artist. And while drawing, at most instances, they generally hover around the screen sitting very close to it. In a 1080p display, the pixels are very much noticeable, but on a 1440p display just like this, they are not, hence a better drawing experience. Complementing that is the matte screen texture on the screen, or should I say the screen guard that provides little resistance, which is good when you are drawing, but it still feels like you are rubbing your pen on the monitor screen and not on a paper. One more thing, quite important actually, that the XP Pen RTX24 Pro only registers your pen tip as a touch input, it doesn't register your fingertips. So there are no accidental taps, which I like. What I don't like, and maybe the only disappointing aspect of the RTX24 Pro is that the screen is not laminated. On non-laminated screens, there is a substantial air gap between the display and the glass. So when you are drawing on the screen, there is a space between where the pen tip is and where the impact is happening. This is called parallax and it's way more visible on a screen of this size. Well, at this point of time, I would like to tell you that the XP Pen RTX24 Pro is a budget drawing monitor. Its counterpart, the likes of Wacom, charge 2 and 3 times, not even 2, 3 times more than the price of this one for the similar size tablet. So you better expect some cost cutting. I mean you can easily calibrate your pen with the screen as much as you want but while drawing your head is stationary and your hand that is holding the pen is not. It's traveling across the display. You will have to tilt your head to look at the corners and the sides and thanks to the 24 inch display you do see the parallax. And what else I can say about it? I think you'll just have to grow with it. In my 40 days of extensive use though, I noticed the parallax much lesser. I think I ignored it. And this exercise shows how much I have improved my tackling with it. As you can see here, on the corners I draw two strokes with a very thin gap in between. And I try to draw a perpendicular line through that gap. I succeed in most of the parts. And as we all know that there is nothing perfect in life, kudos to myself. Let's talk about the drawing experience starting with the pen. It feels light and the rubber texture makes it better to hold. Initially there were accidental button taps but no more. I am not going to talk about the numbers but it gets world class pressure sensitivity and tilt functionality. And as you can see here that the line quality and the strokes are quite perfect, no complaints there. It's almost as good as drawing with the Apple Pencil on an iPad. The 24 inch panel only makes your drawing experience leaps and bounds better. There's so much of surface area to work on. Even after having necessary windows open like the reference image on PureRef, shout out to the PureRef people for making the drawing experience much better. The fun doesn't end here. As you reach towards the end of your painting, putting details on such massive canvas becomes very interesting indeed. You don't have to really zoom in while doing so. The entire canvas is in front of you. So you do notice the uniformity and continuances of details throughout the artwork. The shortcut buttons are almost a boon in the mixture of good things. You are held on the screen with all the major buttons on your fingertips. The scroll wheel works like magic with clicky feedback. And I would like to report that there has never been any jumps or pauses while scrolling the wheel. Which is a good thing. But the buttons on the other side of the display is too much. Which in my case will be the left hand side. Because whenever I reach towards the toolbar. Every time I accidentally tap one or more buttons, every single time, so eventually I disable those. With this and the parallax issue that I discussed a while ago, I couldn't find any other complaints about the XP Pen Artist 24 Pro. This is a very well built premium drawing tablet offered by XP Pen. And thanks to the USB-C connectivity, it's also feature proof and so glad I bought it. I would also like to give a shout out to the XP Pen technical team for their rapid response and initiative which only made my experience better. This XP Pen Artist 24 Pro is priced at 75,000 rupees, making it the most expensive drawing tablet sold by XP Pen. But as it is also the largest, with all the modern features packed into it, I would say that it's a great deal. Also what's great is this discount code. You can use it on XP Pen's website and get 10% off on your next purchase. And with that, it's a wrap. I hope you liked this video. Do share your thoughts about it in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.